Hello my darlings, my cyber angels. This is just a short introduction because it saves me time with uh, every video. You can just skip the introduction but you might miss just some news. So welcome back and thank you for your loyalty, your likes and your shares. I love you, love you, love you all really much and I th I'm really grateful with all the thumbs up, the subscriptions and the likes and sharing that you do. The live sessions are so wonderful. I was talking to a cyber angel tonight and it's just magic to get to know you, sometimes personally and sometimes just for a chat or a making an appointment for an extensive reading. It's so nice to really hear your voices. Uh, yes, I'm redoing the introduction um, and uh, you know, I just love this work. I do it with all my love and a pure heart and I just want to reach as many people as I can and help them. Uh, so please, please share with family and friends and let's get more cyber angels joining our family, our cyber family. And please um, remember this is a general reading so if it doesn't resonate with you then look at your moon sign and your rising sign. There is also new reviews out uh, on the decks, the Pagan deck, the Avalonian deck, um, the uh, Lenormand's Cartomancy deck and TLC for your soul. That's this one. This is the Avalonian tarot deck and this is the Lenormand Cartomancy deck and the Pagan Way deck and they're beautiful and awesome. Some I did go into depth and detail in the Avalonian uh, uh, Oracle deck and the Pagan Way uh, Tarot deck uh, and I enjoyed doing it. It is a bit long but I think that if you uh, would like to have a deck it's always nice to see uh, what it looks like before you buy it and that is why I have extended it um, gone slowly uh, with each card so that you can view them and I've also uh, put out extensive information so that you really know what you are ordering it's always difficult to order from uh, internet or from a catalogue and that's why it is so important to do reviews I would love to share the knowledge and my luck and my happiness with the decks and my interpretations. So have a look at the reviews and also have a look at the energy video of the energy of Virgo as we are going into Virgo at the end of this week. As this is going to be your reading for the 17th to the 23rd of August 2020 and the energy of Virgo Virgo moon is already entering in on the 19th and the Sun on the 23rd that is just a little bit of news that is all very positive news and there's also relaxing news as I've made my first meditation video and it's meditation for the chakra uh, if you don't know how to meditate then sit quietly and contemplate and evaluate. Listen to this music. I've had beautiful reviews and feedbacks from different people not only on YouTube but on Facebook, Messenger, you name it. And so I advise you please go and have a look at the meditation video. And please remember like and share and subscribe and hit the bell on all. There is um, something quirky happening and I and Brenda discovered this because we weren't getting notified when we go live. She doesn't get notified when I go live and I don't get notified when she goes live. So we were mucking around on YouTube and we hit the bell on all again 
just to reset it and yes then you get a pop-up saying you will be notified so make sure that you are resetting or refreshing your little button the bell on all of your favorite channels so there we go some there's something shared is something aired i hope you will enjoy the video take care my darlings and have a beautiful week stay safe and be blessed hi sagittarius this is your reading for the 17th to the 25th 23rd sorry and the first card you have is the five of swords now the five of swords means arguments and disagreements the card card of war okay you might feel defeated don't be because it might not have happened yet so you've been forewarned is forearmed just walk away from other people's drama don't get involved in arguments nobody's the winner here and nobody shall be the winner you can only be the winner if you walk away you've done the right thing somebody is jealous of you most probably and you the the card to clarify this card is the bear and you also have the ten of clubs the ten of clover which is the ones so, so um, you've come through a heavy period there is an ending to this heavy period and there's a beautiful new period starting the bear protects what is dear to him that he loves that he's passionate about okay now look at the bear and you've got the bear shape and you've got the bear face coming out just there Now the bear means also good luck, but means also somebody is jealous of you. And that's why you don't have to be scared at all, because you're big, strong, large uh, character. You, don't, you can be as slim as, as, as a model, but you come out big time. Uh, you are, here I am, and you people you go, wow. Uh, we have to be careful. We have to respect this person. That is what you're beaming. Look at all those beams coming out in the background. That is you. You are larger than life. You've got 15, so that is 6, so you are in balance. So don't worry. Just walk away like the bear would. Um, you know, it's sometimes you just have to walk away because the bear will walk away because he will protect what is dear to him okay now midweek you have the fool take that leap of faith because you are in a transformational period you've avoided the argument and you've thought about it you're in transition shall I go back or shall I do this or shall I do that because you know I don't want to argue, but I would like to main, remain friends. No, don't go back. Let them come to you. You can call them and say, I'm sorry, but I don't agree, and I don't think it, it's necessary to quarrel about this. And when you feel ready, I'll discuss it with you. But let's transform this into a good friendship and maintain it, and let's build on that. Have faith. The fool will leap off the cliff and he doesn't know where he's going to end, but he starts a new journey. Okay, so have faith and take that leap of faith. And to um, confirm that card, we have the two. You are in balance. You've also got the six of diamonds, which is the six of pentacles. The Six of Pentacles, if you are fortunate, you might be giving a helping hand or a gift or a listening ear to the less fortunate. If the roles are exchanged, then exchanged, then like you are less fortunate, then you might get a gift from a more fortunate person, okay? Or you might get a listening ear from a, a, a for, uh, an, another person, or you might get a helping hand. 
So help is at hand. Know that you are not alone. And uh, because this is number two of the Lenaman, you have the clover. Look at that. You've got luck on your side. Know that you're never alone. Okay, Seji. My little Seji. And wow. Wow, you've got some good weeks with great cards and readings. And again, you've got manifestation. You might get a promotion. You might get a new house. You might get a new job. You might be meeting a Taurus. Or a Virgo. Or a Capricorn. They could be your best mate. Okay. They could... They or you might have had an argument or a, a, be, a beginning of an argument. Okay, don't take any notice. You walked away. There will be a new beginning. Look, he's shouting. It looks like if he's shouting, go, come on, come on, don't fight. Okay, he's like saying, come on, let's get talking. Okay. Luck is on your side, I think you will. Unless this person is um, jealous of you and has been for some time, I think the friendship will be finished. I think you stand above it. Look, he's standing on a mountain. You stand above it. You don't want to go there. You've been on that journey before. So don't worry. Stand your ground, protect yourself and what is dear of you. But you've got manifestation, so something new that is durable and for long term is breaking through. And to confirm that, you have the ship. The ship from the Lenaman means your boat is coming in big time. And you've got the ten of uh, ten of swords, the ten of spades here. So that's why I think you might be sailing away, and you stand above people that are jealous of you. You are cutting a friendship. You might, or you might have back pain at this moment physically. But I think it could be an ending to a friendship and to drama, because your boat is coming in. Boats were used for import and export. So perhaps you've set somebody on a boat <laughs> and said, tell you, bye bye. Have a nice life. You're creative enough to do that. You've got the three. It's magic, these cards. Okay, now we're going on to the last card at the weekend. Whoa, you've got celebrations. Congratulations by Cliff Richard. You have harmony. Oh, yes, you do. The, oh, the end of the week is perfect. You might be getting married or you might be invited to a wedding. At this wedding, you'll make new friends. And because you've got the four corners of the house because of this canopy, you might be buying a house or you might be moving to a house or you might be getting married or invited to a wedding, but you'll be celebrating something. And if you do go to a party, you might be networking there. Awesome. And four is stability and productivity. Okay, proper foundations. So these friendships or um, networking uh, people will be good partners in the future. Now you've got um, one, two, three, four, uh, seven, ten. You've got the ten of diamonds here. Woo! Ten of pentacles. Uh, you might have reunion with family and friends. You might receive an inheritance. You might receive. Uh, 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 a bounty from a lottery or a scratch card. Oh, you, you didn't know about that. Perhaps somebody bought you a scratch card and um, you'll be receiving bounty from it. Right, bounty, the ship, bounty. Ah, I hope you know that. But you've got 26, so that's 8. Your strength house and money house. So money is definitely coming to you. You're in your strength. Boom. But you might also start a new study. The book means secrets and the book means wisdom and study. 
so you might start a new study and that will bring this study once you've um, completed it will bring in more money and abundance and stability Woo! luck is on your side look at this nothing but luck 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 okay so long you take that leap of faith and now we've got the moon four moon of germination you have planted the seeds and it is time for germination here you can see a baby perhaps you might find out you're pregnant or you might hear of a birth okay now let me just find out because this is a new deck and it is quite extensive the cards and I think they're awesome they're really beautiful so let me have a look I have to go to the moon section and this card basically means um, that something has been dormant and there will be a birth a new beginning I love the moons because it also gives you um, the uh, in this book it gives you also the time of year which moon it is okay this is the goddess Seritwen Seritwen this card represents goddess Seritwen it's Gaelic Welsh Gaelic the first full moon when sun is in Aquarius full moon in Leo so when the sun is in Aquarius so that is um, January February time and when the moon is in Leo late winter so the the completion uh, might be of the study for instance could be in January February Wow something is being completed or uh, in January February note it down that might be a very significant time okay late winter and the herb for this card is for vein for brainer okay I'm just going to give you a little bit of the description and the keywords I'm not going into the myth or divinatory um, side deep in the womb waters of Lynn Teggett a babe with a shining brow awaits rebirth holding a sprig of the vein he is safe and protected in the maternal waters of Seridwin Lake above him leaps the salmon a powerful Celtic symbol for wisdom wisdom and the book boom love it enlightenment rebirth potential renewal shifted perspective deep wisdom creativity and we have creativity here as number uh, three that means creativity uh, you have a different perspective because you've got the 10 there and you've got 10 here which is finishing you've got the 10 of diamonds here you had the 10 of swords here of spades and you've got the 10 of wands here so you've got 10 10 10 so have a look at on Google what 10 10 10 is or 1 1 1 and 1 1 1 is a famous angel number okay it means rebirth and uh, I think you've got a different perspective because you walked away from the drama and it's done turned everything into positivity great stuff stay open with your eyes and your mind have an open mind look upon the situation with new eyes while drawing upon the full wisdom of your past experience recognize this opportunity for renewal okay now we're going to this and I love this picture it's like a doorway open uh, the door will open it's your choice you hold the key but you ha um, I can't see the key here but you can see like a handle to open it up so 
it might not be locked provision provision so perhaps you need to um, get gain more information that could be and you're locking it up in your memory because you can provide the information in the future hidden within your soul are tiny thought seeds that given the right care can sprout into newly found abundance Woo. I love it when a plant comes together you will find that all your daily needs are met, met as you listen to your heart's whispers even small dreams you haven't yet anticipated can become real as an everyday exercise of beauty let stressful thoughts fall away trust the ways of your soul to bring you to what you seek walk away I love it the cards are never wrong let go it just depends what resonates with you and how you interpret my story and the cards so let go of the old to make room for the new walk away from negativity protect yourself and uh, the people or things that you love and that are dear to you but walk away from negativity wow great stuff i hope you have enjoyed this reading take care have a beautiful weekend and week be safe stay safe and be blessed and please share and like ciao ciao